morning friends it's nancy and we're going to start sewing in the signatures um i did spend some time making some ephemera yesterday i will i did videotape um how i covered an envelope with lace but everything else you've seen so this one was uh, just a button card i covered it in paper added an eyelet and a little bit of ribbon these are little gift cards. I just added some paper and cut where the, if they were folded, I cut them so that there was extra pages. So I made a couple of those. These ones I added some lace to. Oh, I had, I had another one. Um, these are die cuts, the Tim Holtz Wildflowers die cuts. I've I'm thinking I might use some of these photos as pockets um, and decorate them with some of those wildflowers and some lace. So I just double matted some photos, stitched around them. Oh, here's my other little booklet. So that's all I've done there. Um, all right. I usually do this uh, in bed. <laughs> I have a tray and I like to sit on my bed and craft and watch TV. Um, I just take my time and not get too stressed about it. But here we go. So I got the yellow pages. Um, and all of my signatures I've already got are organized. I've got the pages where I want them to be. And I'm just going to pop this into the, uh, yeah, the fold there of the book. And here is our uh, template. So I'm going to pop that in and make sure it is meeting at top and bottom. And I have my bead reaming tool, so I'm going to just quickly if you're worried about your template um, moving, you could certainly clip it on with a paper clip or a bulldog clip. Okay, there's one done. I will pause and do the other seven. Okay, we're all set to go. So I've got a long needle with uh, the smallest eye possible that I can still get my binders thread through. Um, I get this at uh, Curry's Art Store, but I know other people use different things, waxed linen thread and I don't know. Is this linen? It, it is linen. It's acid-free, unbleached linen. Humidity-responsive linen reduces stress on paper. Oh, there you go. So, I just cut off a piece that I think I can manage. And I wax it. This is, you can get this at any sewing store. I've had this for a years and it's kind of embarrassing it's time to get a new one <laughs> so I just pull my thread through the wax just to make it slippy Whoop. ow I just poked myself already I should have threaded the thread the needle first okay now I'm gonna put it one two three a quilters knot on that
and this is um, the inside the inside spine that we made with early in early days okay so I like to start at the back so the first thing I'm going to do is put my needle through the bottom of the first first line that I labeled number eight and then I will poke it through the hole I will go down the next hole and then find find the hole that I poke through I'd be doing this much easier if I wasn't filming I'm just nervous about making a mess okay then I'll go down the next hole Once you get it started, it's okay. It's the starting that's sometimes a bit of a challenge. There we go. Okay. So I want to make sure that these are these stitches are as tight as possible. But don't stress the thread too much and now while I've got this looped up I'm just gonna bring that around because I'm gonna tie a knot oh they're still working outside here comes the cat Got our first signature in. So now we'll go through the top hole. Remember when I said I make sure that I have the paper clips on the back? If I didn't have those paper clips on the back, I might sew that in backwards um, but you can choose any way to um, you know you can put little post-it notes on or whatever and if you do sew a signature in upside down take it back apart so this one has a an envelope in it so you see how I've got the envelope open
can't see that hole. So I'll just pull my needle through here and re-poke that hole. And now I can see it from the other side. Take a breath, Nancy. Start and get a little agitated and anxious. <laughs> okay. Gotta pretend I'm very confident about this. <laughs> And every once in a while I make sure I'm on the same line because you, I mean, I could accidentally skip to a different line, in which case I'd have to go backwards and tear it out again. Oh. Now, when I take those off, I will be gluing that envelope shut, just like that. Okay. Another knot. That's two in. <laughs> Starting at the top again.
Now my thread's getting too short to go much farther, so I will tie this off. I'm just taking a look at where we are with time. So I'm going to pause and quickly put in the rest of these signatures to the attach them to the back or to the inside spine, I mean. And when I get to the last one, I'll turn the camera back on because I'm sure you don't want to watch an hour of me struggling. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that hard. It's real. It's really just nerves and the camera. Okay, something happened, so I sh I'm turning this back on. So I actually caught the thread on the paper clip. So I'm just pulling the thread back up and unhooking it. Keep an eye out for stuff like that. All right, they are in. <laughs> Um, and this is okay that this is kind of round and in fact that's exactly what we want because we want it to settle right into the round curved spine but it might feel a little loosey-goosey and um, we're gonna fix that and also add add a part that we need in order to put in um, to put the text block into the spine. So this is just, it's just a fly leaf from a book. Um, and I want to cut it the same width as the fabric, which was five inches, I believe. Can't find anything. And I want it just shorter than the inside spine. So this was eight and a quarter. I'm going to go eight. this was two yeah this was two inches so I'm going to score this to make it um, put a, a trough right here right so I'll score it one and a half and three and a half And I'm going to glue. My glue's not running fast again because it's cold in here. It's supposed to get really warm tomorrow, though. I heard on the news yesterday that it was going up to 25. So today is Friday. You're probably seeing this Wednesday. So I only want glue in the trough.
missed. Okay. So more or less centered. It doesn't have to be exact. I mean, top to bottom, but it does have to be exact on the spine, the inside spine. All right, we're going to stop there, let that glue set up, and uh, come back. And next, we're going to put this text block into the book. All right, thanks so much for popping by. We'll talk to you again soon.